continuing coverage as several death row inmates are looking towards clemency hearings. The district attorney of East Baton Rouge is expected to file an injunction that could slow the process for the inmates. In a press release sent out today, District Attorney Hiller Moore announced he's set to file for an injunction around 2 p.m. tomorrow that will look to stop the expedited process that has been implemented for the 56 death row inmate clemency hearings. The inmates' clemency requests come after the legislative session where a push to abolish death penalty in the state died in the legislature but was endorsed for the first time by Governor John Bell Edwards. 56 of the 57 death row inmates have filed for clemency. Back in August, Governor Edwards formally asked the Louisiana Pardons Board to hear the requests of the inmates asking for clemency after the board turned away those applications following an opinion by Attorney General Jeff Landry. Moore believes that this whole process has been very offensive to victims' families, especially being done at the last minute. Moore is seeking to void the board's decision to set com uh, commutation hearings, ensure that further decisions are in accordance with established law, rules, and policies. Dates have been set for 20 of those inmates between October 13th and November 27th in Baton Rouge before the Louisiana Board of Pardons and Committee on Parole. Now, two of those 56 inmates requesting clemency are convicted of committing crimes here in central Louisiana. 62-year-old Larry Roy was convicted on first-degree murder charges in the May 1993 stabbing deaths of Freddie Richard Jr. and Rosetta Silas in Cheneyville. The second is 62-year-old Tracy Lee, convicted of killing a 15-year-old during a burglary in Natchitoches in 1985. At that time, he was a soldier stationed at then named Fort Polk. He also raped a teenager sister and mother before stealing cash from the family. Now, both men have hearings set for November 8th as of now. With the expected injunction being filed tomorrow, those hearings may be subject to change.